Hi and welcome to another workshop. Uh, so in this Ask Zendla what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, various methods that we can add a user into your platform. Now um, it's really easy we just need to go into our admin section. There's a few different ways we can do it. We can import users in from a CSV file or we can actually add a user. So if I go to site and we go down to all people down here you can see I've already got um, someone added here. I'm just going to delete myself out and then I'm just going to add a new uh, lead in here. So I'm going to go to add a student and then we're just going to fill their names out. So I'm just going to call this um, Andrew and then I'll just call it Jones and I'm going to put in the email address in here and now at this point um, we can actually select the user roles so obviously um, if they're not part of a course we will probably want to add them as a lead okay and if you add them as a student you're going to see other options in here so we can enroll them straight into a course or a plan or we can enroll them into a funnel but if they are not if they are put in there as leads um, you're not going to have this option but you can still enroll them into a funnel if you have any funnels set up okay you can also add another tag so if you want to you can put a tag in here um, to add a tag you just need to put um, the name of the tag whatever you want to call it and you can then just press the enter and it will tag them with that so I'm going to leave that in there for now so you can see you can add multiple tags so you can put another one in here if you want to and then hit hit enter and you can also delete them out by clicking here and you can also delete them out by clicking here so then you can put in the rest of the details like address city state uh, country postcode and phone number if you want to and as I said before as a lead you can put them into a funnel now remember that you um, by putting them in as different roles will have different options that pop up so a student you can enroll them into a course as well but as a lead they haven't bought any courses um, so they're not going to be in any courses so we haven't got that setting as a lead okay it's really important to understand but you can still add them to a funnel you can also click this and it will send a notification to their email that they are enrolled there and that way can, they can set up their own password etc so make sure that's checked if you want them to actually um, be able to have a password it's probably more important with a student as opposed to here because uh, you're going to they're going to want to set their own password okay because you haven't got that option in here so you need to make sure that's checked just so you know so I'm going to put this back to lead as I'm going to pretend that it's just someone I want to target and then I'm just going to click add and as simple as that it's been added into the site and there you go you can see that it's in there so you now you can target it if you've got that tag set up you can target them in emails um, if you're sending an email you can of course filter them um, through any of the email broadcast settings or anything you can add a new action like use a tag um, and then it contains new tag and then you can apply the filter and it will filter out just those ones but also remember guys that you can also go in and remove that tag if you want to manually by going into the little pencil icon coming down here and just removing that tag in there if you want to uh, and changing or updating any of the details in there you could also uh, inscribe put them into a funnel as well manually if you want to as well so once you click the update button let's remove that and click update then that user now will have that tag removed okay so go in there so if I go back to all you'll see now that tag has been removed so another way to get users in is you can actually import them in here so you just need a CSV file um, and also remember you can export them as CSV files so I'm just going to import them as a CSV file now so as you can see here I just have a simple spreadsheet you might have exported something from MailChimp or something like that and I'm um, going to basically uh, save this or download this as a comma um, separated CSV file so I'm going to do that and that will save that um, I've saved that on my in my folder so if I just open my folder up and I drag this onto the dashboard I'm going to rename this as import people okay so most um, mail programs or email gathering programs allow you to export out CSV so you should better import them straight into your platform so I'm going to just put that into onto the desktop and now I'm going to jump back into here and I'm going to import that as a user so I'm going to go to import I'm going to choose the file so on my desktop import people I'm going to click open 
um, import as, remember this. I'm going to put them in as leads. Remember again, you could put them in as students if you wanted to. I'm going to put them in as leads and I'm going to click next. Now it's going to try and tie up the field. So make sure these fields all match. First name and it's gone into first name, which is fine. Last name, it's gone into last name and email has gone into email. So now I can click next and you can add a tag here if you want to. Okay, you can just add a tag, the same method as before. So I'll go new tag and hit enter and you can select if you want to put them into a funnel as well. Now do remember that if you do it as a student, you could actually put them into a course as well. All right, so I'm gonna click finish. And we're gonna click okay. I'm gonna refresh the screen here and suddenly we're going to get this new user, their test. So there it is, it's gone in there, it's got the new tag in there as well. So that's how you can import them in as well through that, okay? Now, of course, if you've got a form made up on your website um, and they fill that form out, they're gonna come in as leads, okay? And obviously if they sign up, they're gonna come in as signups uh, through the sign up procedure registration page. So that's all about adding users, really easy. Of course, um, you've got other tools that you can use like Zapier to bring people in as well, but this is how you can do it in platform. So hopefully this has answered all your questions to importing users.